So we out here messing around again. This is basically a continuation of trying to diagnose exactly what the problem is with the flashing D. Uh, we've already been through the transmission pressure switches. They didn't seem to prove true to fixing the flashing D. At any rate, it, uh, it definitely shifts better. So just a note to self, um, just change your transmission pressure switches because it, it, it does the car body good. <laughs> um, we're going to look at this ECU and uh, see if there's been any, con any corrosion of any sorts. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This is the trash can. So this, this, this right here is a, is a piece by itself. You're pulling out a, this here, and it's another one back up in here. Let me find that hole. I'm sorry, that third one is on the driver's side. The second one is on the driver's side. But just like everything else on the car, it's clipped. Everything's clips. This might already be out. Well, there it is. But this is not loose. Well, you can push that with your finger. <laughs> so, this one is going. This is going into that. And I just pulled the front off and stuck my finger in. And, oh, you'll see it. I just pushed it out on the back side. But, let's see here. Let me put you on pause. Hold on. All right, so your ECU is way. Let me get it light. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, well, so this big, this black thing, plastic piece. I don't even know what this is. It looks like exhaust or intake or out or something like that. This just pulls right out. There's nothing holding this in. That's it. But. ECU is there. All right, back up in that hole. You see that big old bolt? I'm holding two things with one hand. Bear with me. But we're getting into the, to that that bolt right there. Um, I think it's a, a screwdriver. It's a, a hex. Um, Phillips to pull it out. But let me get the other side as well. The uh, this flap on the other side. Now I'm on the driver's side. We're gonna to try to do this one the same way. This one's way sturdier. That's because oh, oh, they're two. Yep. Yeah. So they're two Phillips on this side versus the other side, which is cool. Let me pull that out. And then there's a second one. I feel it. It's up here. Oh. Let me get up in here. Hold up. There's no easy way to get under your car. But that's the, uh, well, it's wrong. It's the wrong way. That's the other one right here. Yeah, right there. Take that out along with that one and it should have plucked right off. All right, let's do it. All right, we got the second one out. And now it should just come off. Yeah. I shouldn't be too much. Right. Yep, clip. Clip again. Presto. And then I'm gonna take this part out just like we did on the other side. Pull it from the top first. Pull it out. And then we have access to the other side. Now 
They put this carpet in, boy. They snugged this bad boy. Doesn't look like any water's on it. Well, if there was water on it, it'd be dry by now. But that's the other side. So it looks 10 millimeter ish. Uh, I'm just taking my 10 millimeter on this side and uh, pull it out. One right here and one on the other side, as I showed you all earlier. Uh, let me pull it out. All right, I lied. It might not be 10 millimeter. It looks a little bigger. I got the wrong one. I lied again. It's a 10. Go with 10. 10 millimeter. It's coming off. All right, we got this one off. Let me get it back up in there. You can. The square. See that hole by the wire? That's back behind the wire. That hole. That's where it came out of. Uh, and that's it tucked and nestled it's behind the amp for your car this is the only way to get to it well I'm sure you can go through the center compartment but it, it might be you know to get your whole arm in a wrench by taking that other stuff out it just might not be necessary and a bit excessive let's go to the other side <sighs> And this is where all your clips are. So let's find a good spot to mount this light. Magnet lights, I tell you. They have saved the day a couple times. Too bad there is no metal. Oh, there we go. And then this one. What up? Can't okay, point at it. It's uh, dropping the phone. Let me get my my screwdriver. Hold on. This one is you see it. It's faint the light in the it. Gee Louise. There. It's on it. There you go. It's right there. It should be it's straight. It's straightforward. It's uh, uh, it's obvious once you pull it. The the um, the uh, trim piece is off. So I'm going there with another 10 millimeter and take that bolt off. You know, before we go to that, let's uh, let's take these clips off. So you, it's that's straightforward. It's just like every other clip on here. You see the one on the left, the metal piece. You press it down. You have I think you got four of them. One, two, three, four. Whoop. Ugh. You have four of them. It is so hard to get this phone back up in there, man. They got one. You got gray, white. Gray. I'm sorry. Gray, white, black, and white. It looks like two whites. Might be five clips. You can't see it because that it goes across and there's a there's a black one behind that blue piece of tape and then it goes further back but I'll show you once I pull it out so the I pulled out three of them already oh. <sighs> I pulled out three already one two three um, that third one is black and it allows you to get complete access to the 10 millimeter bolt this on. It allows you to get complete access to the 10 millimeter bolt that's on top of it. There you go. There. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey. There it is. Boosh. The black one allows you to get access to that 10 millimeter, one, two, three. And then we have two more to pull out. You have a white. Let's see if I can put that. Came on this side. Yep, that's way better. You have a white, you can see all of them now. Um, so you have white, uh, two whites left, but that allowed me to get to that, uh, that bolt that's right there. So I'm gonna pull that off and then we're that should 
bring these two a, a lot closer to me so I can pull them off. Let's do that. Ugh. So sorry. I had a phone call from my baby. So look, man, this thing is off. <laughs> Get this joker out here is, I guess, the next challenge up. You know, you read the directions. ECU should pull out easily. False. Ugh. And I don't scratch my hands up a couple times trying to pull this thing out here. Like, what is all that? This thing, I got, you got to pull a carpet. Ugh. Down just a little bit. You hear it, it's moving. Let me see if I can pull this thing out here with two hands. All right, so you mush the carpet down the driver's side and you pull it out. All right. <laughs> All right. I got ECU number 39. Uh, like somebody already been in here. But we're gonna check it out. We're gonna open the guts up. But these are all your clips. You got one, two, three, four, five on the other side. It goes into the car lap that way. Bolt. Bolt. We're gonna take our driver, 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 driver. See if there's any corrosion in this bad boy. Eh. Doesn't look bad at all. Doesn't look bad at all. So I mean, no, nothing smells burnt. Nothing looks like it's molding. Cause these can do that. That's the brain of the car. Um, it doesn't look like, uh, thing looks, looks new if I can say so. I'm uh, kind of shocked. I mean, it's covered, it's been sitting tightly nestled in the car, I would, I guess I can't be uh, surprised that it's in this condition. If it is a problem, it's not obvious at all. So, I won't rule this out completely, but just by observation alone, she looks good. So the main point in this video is to um, see if the ECU could be the problem for the uh, see if the ECU can be the problem or the culprit to the uh, to the transmission rain sensor or the flash and D on the dash. On the, dash. Uh, <clears throat> the Acura had a. Uh, uh, well, most of you might be familiar with Acura had a recall on the ECUs um, in some specific states. I think Virginia, we're in Virginia. I'm in Virginia. Virginia was one of them. The states where, I guess, weather uh, aided in the corrosion of this particular part. In addition to that, um, the AC, the air condition of your, the, the, the uh, TSXs, I think the condensation from it being cool um, was able to aid it in leaking on top of these. Some of the water would leak on top and ultimately get into the circuit board at which it would cause a lot of problems or in this case uh, an entire recall. Um, so check it out if your car is active funny. Uh, this can be a culprit. If the brain doesn't follow, the body will not either. But as you see again, it's four screws. One, two, three, four. Um, they've been sitting a while, so you're gonna have to you have, you're gonna have to get it flush and uh, make sure you're not stripping it. 
um, put a little pressure on it when you're putting it in. And then we're going to reverse the process. I don't think I need to show you all how to reverse the process. It is just, well, let me sh at least show you something. That's just daylight saving time, man. We Next week, we fall back. None of this will be taking place at all, unless it's on a Saturday and high noon. <clears throat> but we're going back in. I'm going to force this in this gap. And uh, these go on the passenger side. Put your bolt. Put your bolt on this one. Put your bolt on the other one. Put your clips back in. Clip everything here. And you should you should be good to go. Um, you can subscribe. Um, you can like even. Uh, it's this is going on. This is going down. Um, I guess when the if we get another warm day, I gotta do these brake pads and rotors. And I'm, I'm venturing into the uh, the uh, lower control arm. That's gonna be a big one. Uh, but the brake pads, rotors, and brake plus brake brush should be uh, should be cake. All right. That's your uh that's that's to your uh your ducks. That's what that's pulling from right there. I just figured it out. Whoops. So yeah, that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty important.